Hi, today I'm going to show you how to quickly import data into BigQuery. Um, let's say you are starting with a CSV file or XLSX file that you get regularly. Maybe it's an export from some other app. Maybe it's something from a, from a lead generation thing or something where you want to get it into BigQuery. And so, you know, we're starting with a file like this where it's got a header row. They can be any headers. We'll map the headers to the Google BigQuery table schema um, at the very end here. And uh, let's just download this file. You're going to want to have a file, you know, on hand. So if it's on FTP, download it. And what you'll do is an easy CSV. When you first start, you're going to set up an import page and import flow to say where the data is going to go. So we'll do this here. And this is this is just for setup. So we're be testing import. You can uncheck any columns you don't care about. Easy CSV only looks at the columns you tell it about. So we're next, we're going to select the destination as BigQuery and you land on your import page. This import page, you can drag the file here and it'll do an import. You'll get an email. Um, this is kind of just like your page to have the log and to do testing and all that. And you'll see in the big red banner, it'll kind of tell you what you need to do here to finalize setup. And you can go to our docs here to watch videos and all that. Um, okay, so let's go on the import flow. Every import page has a flow. The top is how easy CSV can get the files, right? We just saw the page where you can select the files. You can email, you get a custom email, you can email the files as attachments. Easy CSV can go get files from places on a schedule. Uh, the middle is the configuration. These are the columns you've just we just specified for easy CSV to look at. Filtering, you can filter out bad data. Virtual fields is you can combine or massage data. Um, so let's say you have there's two fields in the CSV where it's like first name, last name, but in your Google BigQuery you need full name. You can combine those fields into a new field, uh, a virtual field. And the bottom is where you're sending the data to. In this case, it's BigQuery. And so to connect BigQuery, you have to go to Google Cloud Console and make a service account. A service account is like a fake Google user account that has permissions to access BigQuery. Uh, you can't use your own account, unfortunately. Google requires service accounts um, for BigQuery. We have, you know, it's it's a quick two-step process, probably takes a minute if you're a Google Cloud admin, or just send it to your Google Cloud admin, and they'll make a service account for you. If you follow our steps, at the very end, you're going to get a JSON key file that has the API key in there. Um, I'm going to cancel this. Right here, I have the example file. You're going to select it here, so have your admin send you that file. And this is basically the fake email for the service account, and we'll hide the private key. And once you save that, then you'll be able to select your project data set and table. So go here, and you'll see your project. You'll see your data set. I'm going to go to this um, data set called Kitchen Sink, and then the table. So you need to select all three of these. So you tell Easy CSV what table you want the data to be sent into. Um, then your last step is to map um, the columns from the file to the columns in BigQuery. So on the left is the columns in the BigQuery table. And on the right is your CSV column. So in my case, they're named the same because I've I've just made a CSV file from the schema. But you know, you could have something like full name here, right? And you might you might go down here and you might like just map different things to those uh, other things. So let's see here. I'm just gonna map them all real quick for us. And we handle you know um, nested. So here's the here's the table schema here. You see caller has nested attributes. You'll see them here as uh, dot notation, so caller dot full name, right? In my case, I have the exact same call name, but it might just be called full name in yours. So you'll just be mapping, right? Mapping. Till you are ready. Let me just map them all here, because why not? You, you might not have to map all of them, right? Like your, your table might only require a certain number of fields. So I'll save that. And you're all set. You can drag this, you know, that CSV file you have here. You can set up the scheduled fetcher, like I mentioned. You can send an email. Um, and it should, it should import. We are only inserting rows. We're not checking for existence. So if uh, you need to check for existence first, um, you can either specify that um, certain column needs to be unique so that the row insert would fail um, or make a feature request. This is our first um, go at inserting data. So we're just going to insert. We only have insert data right now. We hope to add um, find or create basically in the future. So try it out. Let us know how it goes. If you have trouble, chat us um, or email us. We're happy to help. Uh, thank you.